Hey, my name is Happy. I help candidates in .NET interview preparation. Today we will explore the answer of this interview question. For more .NET interview questions, click on subscribe and like button now. So let's start with this question. Here is the question. What is Castrol? What is the difference between, between Castrol and IIS? Let's see the definition of Castrol first. Castrol is a lightweight cross-platform web server for ASP.NET Core. A cross-platform means it can work with any operating system and different web servers like IIS, Nginx and Apache. Second thing about Castrol is it is a type of out-of-process hosting which we already discussed in previous question. It can be used alone or it can be used with IIS or Nginx or Apache web server. So this is the second point about Castrol. Now let's see what are the differences between Castrol and IIS. The first difference is Castrol is a lightweight web server used for hosting. So it's a lightweight. When I say lightweight, meaning it will not use more memory as comparison to the IIS. Whereas IIS is a complete web server which is also used for hosting. When I say complete web server, that means there are, it is very much configurable. There are lot many configuration which are possible in IIS, but those are not possible in Castrol. So Castrol is a very simple web server and IIS is a very complex, but yes, it will provide many, many functionalities more than the Castrol. So that is the first difference. Second difference is Castrol is cross-platform and can be used with other web servers like IIS, Nginx and Apache. This is a very important thing about Castrol. That's why a, a .NET Core application can work in Windows, Linux and any other operating system. Whereas IIS is not a cross-platform and can only run in Windows operating system. So that is the limitation of the IIS that it can only run in Windows operating system. Next difference is Castrol is open source like .NET Core and IIS is not open source. So that is the answer of this question. If you have any question, then please let me know in the comment section and I will try to answer it as soon as possible.